So this is my pink syngonium, which I had a lot of issues with. See, it was originally pink, but um, it reverted to green. And a lot of the leaves would not unfurl. And I didn't, I still don't know why. Um, what I did was I repotted um, the plant and put it right next to the window. And it finally unfurled, uh, the new leaves unfurled. So here you can see that the leaves are um, from one leaf, It um, as it matured, it grew to, is that three or four leaves? And as it matured more, it finally gave off um, five leaves. Yeah. So as you can see here, that's one, two, three, four, five. And it turned back to pink with enough sunlight. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, I put it there next to the window and um, it seemed to thrive um, with morning sun, direct sun morning. So there it is. It's so beautiful half green and half pink <laughs> oh and um it started to cling to the um the pole is said coco peat not coco coco peat coco um pole and as you can see it has a lot of aerial roots and it's trying to find more pole it's like saying give me more pole So that's it. I also had some issues with root rot. I didn't know how to care for zygoniums. And I finally changed the consistency of the soil. So it's not a soil mix. It's perlite, um, charcoal, cocoa chips. Um, I might have some cocoa peat inside and um, then it didn't have the root rot issues and it grew really big.